Hello everybody, what happens if we want to sketch y equals 4 minus x as a graph? Alright, well, what I'd advise you to do first of all is to draw a table of values between x and y so that we can figure out if there's a bit of a pattern here. So if x equals minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and Let's see what happens. Well, alright, if we put in in place of x minus 3, so if we said y is equal to 4 minus negative 3, so in place of x we put in negative 3. Well, minus a negative is a positive, so 4 plus 3 is 7. Now, that gives us an ordered point, negative 3, 7. Alright, well, what happens if we change the value of x now? And we say, well, what's y if x equals 2? Minus 2. So that's 4 minus negative 2. So in place of the x we put in, minus 2. Now minus a negative is a positive. 4 plus 2 is 6. So when x equals minus 2, y is equal to 6. Well, what happens if x is equal to minus 1? What would y be equal to? Well, y would be equal to 4 minus negative 1. Now, minus a negative is a positive. 4 plus 1 is 5. So this would be negative 1, 5. Well, what would y be equal to if x was equal to 0? So, if in place of x we put in 0, so in place of x is 0, 4 minus 0 is which would mean when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. Now we can continue on with this. What about if x is equal to 1? What would y be equal to? So, 4 minus 1, y would be equal to 3. So, when x equals 1, y would be equal to 3. Now you've probably worked out a pattern here. When x is equal to 2, y should be equal to 2. When x is equal to 3, y would be equal to 1. And that would give us two more points. When x equals 2, y equals 2. And when x equals 3, y is equal to 1. Now, with all these points, what we can do is to plot them on a Cartesian axis, and that would mean we could sketch our graph. If we sketched our graph here, here's the x-axis. Here is the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, what happens if we went on the y-axis? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. So, going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, if we plotted the first point, the first point is negative 3, 7. The second point was negative 2, 6. So it was at about here, negative 2, 6. The next point here was at negative 1, 5. The next point was at 0, 4. Then the next point was at 1, 3. Then at 2, 2. And then at 3, 1. Now, if you look, all these points form a nice straight line. And if I connect them up, like this, you should see that I get the line y equals, y equals 4 minus x squared. And any point on this line here will be true to the rule y equals 4 minus x. Now, over here, where we have the x-intercept where our graph hits the x-axis, we have the point 4, 0, which is true to our rule here. Because if we put in, well, x is equal to 4, so this would be 4 minus 4, which is equal to, guess what, y equals 0. And that makes our rule correct. Alrighty, well, I hope this helped a bit. I'll see you in class.